We said we'd get back to the rising tensions with Saudi Arabia, one of the reasons, certainly for the sell-off of the market, as we've been talking about here. David Stockman joins us. David, the former Reagan budget director, and it's good to see you. A uh, number of topics we can yeah. get into with you, but let me start with Saudi Arabia and your view on the best U.S. response, given the financial interest that the United States has in Saudi Arabia, which the president has brought up many times. Well, we ought to recognize what our interest really is. And our interest is not propping up this horrible Saudi monarchy that we've been propping up for decades. This place is now being run by a hot-headed 33-year-old thug who's literally murderous. I are mean, there implications, though? Are there implications yeah. to hitting them too hard? I mean, that seems no, to be No, I don't, I don't think there here. is. I think we have to understand that the price of oil is the price of oil. It's a world market. It doesn't matter what Saudi Arabia is doing. We don't need to prop them up. They're not our best ally in a bad neighborhood. They're our worst ally in a bad neighborhood. They are a source of more um, terrorism and jihadism and Wahhabism uh, in the Middle East than anyone else. Maybe this will finally cause the scales right. to drop from our eyes in Washington. They are committing genocide. They've killed 10,000 civilians, many of them women and children, uh, in Yemen over the last three years for no reason. Yemen is a poor, backward country. They can't right. hurt Saudi Arabia. Now, to be clear from a practical <laughs> standpoint, I'm making a judgment on yeah. what the moral right yeah. or wrong thing to do here is, but if we, being the United States, crack down hard on Saudi Arabia sanctions or what have you. Are you telling us today you don't think there is a financial market impact from that? Of course there will be. I think the okay. market will probably take a big spill. But let's face facts. This is totally fantasy land. This market is so egregiously overvalued that it's looking for a windshield somewhere in the world to splatter on. And if it's Saudi Arabia, so be it. If it's rising interest rates, which are going to keep going up, so be it. But it's time for the fantasy to end and for us to recognize that we have backed ourselves into a horrible corner. The Fed has, has printed so much money, they've created so much liquidity that the market isn't honest anymore. It's just a, kind of a casino, a, right. a gambling joint. Now, um, so your view is, and you've articulated it here, it's, it's okay, we'll take that hit. It, it, we, we should be willing to take that hit. But you've been bearish, as anyone who's followed you for any period of yeah. time knows, for, for a long, long time. So what are your thoughts now? Just in general, after seeing the sell-off we saw in markets last week, continuing today, rising interest rates, has anything changed in the way you see the world? No, I think it's a wake-up call, given the fact that we have a budget deficit out of control. Right. We have a president that's clueless. Well, the he did the 5% cuts for each department <laughs> yesterday. You were well, that was a PR stunt. He said, I want $100 billion more for defense. We didn't need it. He wants to build this ridiculous wall. He's not going to be cutting homeland security. Security or the Justice Department or anything else that I can see. To get his defense money, he gave the domestic mm -hmm. porkers and liberals $65 billion of increased spending that we didn't need right. last February. So, what I'm telling you is we're looking at a $1.2 trillion borrowing requirement in year 11 of a recovery, unheard of, right. at a time when the Fed is finally waking up shrinking its balance sheet at a 600 billion rate and that is going to be a collision like you've never seen before all right okay. they are draining the bond market of cash and the fed is in the treasury is flooding it with new borrowing interest rates are heading up uh, right. four percent or higher this market is premised on low interest rates and i think we it's going to go, blow David, the thing sky high oh we're <laughs> going to get cut off it's always great to see yeah. you as our mutual friend neil cavuto might say we'll put you down as a maybe on president <laughs> trump okay uh david stockman with us today <laughs> as usual with uh, some strong views yeah